to episode four. How crazy is that? We're already at least halfway through the series. Next week will be the last episode and then on Monday will be the second to last episode. I've been having so much fun filling out this workbook with all of you and if you still haven't already you can go check out the last episode and also all the other episodes if you have purchased the workbook. Go through those first and then come back so we can work on it together. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below because I am posting all my following for yourself series and other special bonus videos on Wednesday. So pretty much uploads every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So without further ado, let's get into the section for today, which is Trust Yourself. So skip all the stuff we've already went over. And... Here it is. So trusting yourself. Do you actually trust yourself? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And so first, before we get into the section, as usual, I'll be taking my pen and doodling on the cover page. So all I really did was do the cloud thing that I usually, oh excuse me, and usually do. Um, and pretty much I just put trusting is loving, just be yourself, which is the doodle on the next page. Uh, trust in your life and just trust in big letters. So let's actually get into the section. Just be yourself. Acting like a different person than who you are really is a sign that you're lacking self-confidence and trust in yourself. Describe yourself in detail. What makes you, you? Name all your skills and talents. Name your failures. Name the real you. Instead of setting one big goal, try setting many little goals that put you in the direction of your big goal. Doing so will make your big goal more realistic. You'll also gain confidence and trust in yourself while accomplishing the smaller goals along the way. What is your big goal? What smaller goals do you need to accomplish first in order to complete the big goal? Break down the small goals even further with the top three steps for each little goal to complete for each little goal. <laughs> Loving yourself unconditionally means getting rid of negative thoughts about yourself and any self-criticism um, after you make a mistake. Do you often have negative thoughts about yourself? If so, what are the negative thoughts that you think of for yourself and do you believe they are actually true? redirect your brain from negative thoughts about yourself to more positive, for example, complimenting yourself and self-love statements. Build on your strengths, and I understand we've already talked about this in a previous section, but I did feel like that it was very necessary to kind of, in a more general sense, discuss it in this section. Spend more time working on your strengths and building your trust, knowing you'll excel at those things. Um, be accepting of your strengths, as well as your weaknesses. What are your strengths? How can you work on these daily? How can you accept them as weaknesses? Mm -hmm. 
All right, next section, and I believe, yep, this is the last section of this, this is the last part of this section I meant to say. <laughs> uh, be decisive. Build trust in yourself by breaking your habit of questioning your decisions. Next time you make a choice, stick with it, even if it turns out not to be the best choice. There's no use beating yourself up over the decision you made. How can you break the habit of beating yourself up out over a decision you made? Decision maker. If so, how do you confidently make choices? If not, how can you start confidently making choices for yourself? So that is the end of trusting yourself. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed this section. Um, it was one of my favorite sections to put together because it's really good to start building trust for yourself, for your life, and the decisions that you're making in your life. Because if you don't trust in yourself, then how can you love yourself? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this section. I am so excited for the next one and the one after and the one after because the uh, second half in my opinion or just in general is uh, you know pretty I, I, I like how this all laid out I like the way that I did this so I'm really excited for this end of the second half um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up if you enjoy it and again how do you trust yourself Without further ado, I will see you guys on Wednesday with a different video than this series. Bye!